Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and welcome to my fourth leaderboard for Miss Universe 2020. Now, 47 contestants has been officially confirmed to compete in the Miss Universe 2020 pageant and this is a very very exciting day because I have narrowed down the list to my top 20 based on the continental region based on the continental selection format so this is my top 20 so we'll just have to go with it because it's, it's going to be a long video so hopefully you will like it because it's interesting number 20 Ghana Chelsea Tywi and oh my goodness she just released a video on her social media account and I am completely amazed at how she looked now she looked fresher and much younger than before also she speaks very well even before and her personality was just infectious she is a great surprise for sure number 19 France Clemence Botino Clemence just have this royalty vibe in her beauty. I still like France, I really do, but honestly, I wanted her to give us something more. Something that would convince us that she's going to be one of the top competitors in Miss Universe. Number 18, Albania. Paula Memetukai. I have been noticing that she's been showcasing different looks recently and I appreciate that and I have to commend her also because she's nailing it in those different looks but right now I wanted to see more from her I wanted to hear her speak because again just a reminder one reason why Albania was a favorite last year was because of her public speaking so we'll see if Paula can deliver the same in the same area number 17 Iceland. Elizabeth Hulda, she still got one of the most striking beauty in her region and her short hair helped in highlighting how beautiful she is. However, I also wanted to see more from her, something that would make us wow. Number 16, Cambodia. Ref Sarita, how amazing would it be if Cambodia gets a placement this year? If she does, I will be very happy. Right now, what we saw in the national pageant was just a teaser and with some more preparation on styling training and catwalk soon she could be much much better right now it is already safe to say that she's one of the strong speakers of this batch number 15 spain andrea martinez Spain has been growing a lot on me. She has released some intensely stunning photos and even if those photos are stunning, I still feel like she looked much much better in motion. I am glad that she is creating a gap now, a gap in a way that she is making sure that she will be one of the best ones from the European region. She is really separating herself apart and raising the bar higher in her region and that's a good thing. Number 14, Nicaragua. Ana Marcelo, Nicaragua will always be one of my sentimental favorites and I think this will stay until the finals. She's really beautiful, she looked amazing in her recent photo shoots, she can perform on stage and she's been active in doing social works. But right now, she really needs to step up her game even more now that this, is, that this region has turned out into a bloodbath. And P.S. I am still unsure at her, at her capabilities when it comes to public speaking. Number 13, Indonesia. Ayu Maulida. I really love Ayu's Batak themed photo shoot that was released less than two weeks ago. She looks stunning in it and her beauty just stands out. For now, I know that she is not as fluent as Frederica last year, but I am hoping that she will use the time to work on her interviews and make sure that it will be much, much stronger. Number 12, Puerto Rico. Estefania Soto. I do appreciate Estefania's impressive transformation every time, and I would say that her transformation has impressed me very, very much. I have also watched her passarella practice, in which I think she did very, very well, and I also saw some huge transformation when it comes to her figure and her walk but right now I am still waiting for that wow moment that would make me put her right away on top of everybody else number 11 
the Philippines. Rabia Mateo. Rabia is still someone with that innocent but stunning and classic beauty. I really wanted to place her a bit higher in this leaderboard, but in the past few weeks, it seems like I am more impressed with the other ladies, especially the ladies that are above her on this list. Having said that, I am still happy that she is very consistent when it comes to her looks, and that is going to be her major strength. Number 10. Romania. Bianca Tersin. This might be a bit low for her quality as a contender, but I am positive that she will be floating somewhere here or somewhere much higher in the next few months. Right now, my basis was her performance two and three years ago in other pageants, so I would love to see how she'll do in the next days so we can judge her performance based on her most recent updates. But right now, she's definitely a strong threat and a sure placer from the European region. Number 9, Thailand. Amanda Obdam, if there is one candidate whose beauty just takes my breath away, it's definitely Amanda. Her recent photos and updates are just unbelievably stunning and it is always her calm but mysterious and tempting eyes that gets your attention every time and I liked it because this happens in photos and also in motion. Recently, she already met with the designers of her gown and I love that she and her team are already working hard for another Miss Universe crown. Number 8, Brazil. Julia Gama. It hurts me a little bit because I feel like this placement is a bit too low for Brazil. Julia has released so many impressive updates recently through her amazing swimsuit photo which showcased her amazing figure, more videos which showcased her public speaking and being active in different social activities, social works also. I just seriously hope that she won't be ignored just like what happened to her many amazing predecessors that were all left out in the top 20. Number 7, Colombia. Laura Olascuaga. I am a huge fan of Colombia this year because she is the kind of candidate that will never back down and will make sure that she will be giving a solid performance in the finals. I am already confident because performance-wise, she is much much better than Gabriela Tafur in swimsuit and evening gown. And in my opinion and based on a friend's translation of her answer, I was even more impressed Plus, beauty-wise, I think she's stunning. I believe she can bring back Colombia on top once again. Number 6, Canada. Nova Stevens. I have the privilege of interviewing Nova Stevens, but it still breaks my heart because there was an error in Instagram while I was saving the video, which resulted to not saving it. Having said that, whoever attended that live can attest how amazing she was in that interview when it comes to public speaking and her personality is just unbelievable. I really love her and I'm hoping that she is also working on her swimsuit and evening gown performances to increase her possibility of placing even higher or even when. Number 5, India. Adeline Castellino. This is the first time that Adeline was dethroned on top but she's still one of the strongest competitors. I love how she's been very active in social media in supporting her causes and her recent photo shoots were all on point. I just hope she's taking every lesson in and apply it during the competition because she could be India's hope of placing high once again. Number four, Australia. Maria Tatil. I am giving Australia the flag bearer of Asia Pacific and Africa as of this time. Aside from, from her undeniable beauty and great figure, I just adore the different episodes and videos she's been releasing on her social media platform because she's just so good when it comes to giving her thoughts about random topics and she's just super super good in public speaking. One of the heavy threats when it comes to public speaking for sure and also who doesn't love her? Her personality is just admirable. Number three, Mexico. Andrea Meza, one thing is sure, Mexico is surely aiming to continue their top three placement in Miss Universe. And I am sure that it will be very, very possible with Andrea. She has already proven it by placing second in one of the most difficult pageants in the world, which is Miss World. Her recent performances also show that she has transitioned herself into the caliber of IMG. She speaks very well too and that's what I want and what I've said before. All she needs to do is work on her conviction and if she does, she will be unstoppable. Number two, Peru. 
Janik Maceta. I have always been wishing for Janik to go to Miss Universe after her Miss Supernational performance and I'm so happy that she is here now. I am very very sure that she will be dominating the swimsuit and evening gown preliminaries of Miss Superna of Miss Universe which with so much confidence, beauty and personality. She is also great in interviews so everything would just depend on how she can handle herself and how she can deliver her answers in interviews because quality and caliber wise she is definitely a strong threat and a possible crown taker because come on the last time Peru won was in 1957 they need another Miss Universe crown but right now my current number one for my fourth leaderboard is Chile Daniela Nicolás I don't know about you, but Chile just make me wow. She's got a very impressive profile and her beauty is just mesmerizing. I love following her on social media because she's very active and aside from that, she speaks very very well in either Spanish or English. When I watched her video thanking people that are supporting her and when she mentioned that she will do her best to bring the crown back to Chile, I felt that. I can really feel that she surely will do her best to make sure that Chile will do very very well this year and based on everything that I've seen from her so far I am beyond impressed so that's it this is my current top 20 for my fourth leaderboard for Miss Universe 2020 and right now here's the updated region for the Asia Pacific and Africa here's the updated ranking for the Americas And here's the updated ranking for the European region. So right now, I would love to know your thoughts about my fourth leaderboard, about the way I rank them. Please be honest about your opinion and please be positive in the comment section below. So right now, what are your thoughts about it? Don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. For now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.